you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching the senate president Ahmad lawan disagrees on nigerian debt uh, profile a uh, nigerian debt uh, profile is too high uh, which uh, Senate uh, President uh, uh, denied. Uh, president Mamadou Buhari and the President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, on Thursday took varied positions on the level of Nigeria's debt uh, profile. Uh, the occasion was the presentation of the 2022 budget estimated by President Buhari before a joint session of the National Assembly. Nigerian Tribune checks revealed that uh, provision for debt servicing in the 2022 uh, budget stood at 3.6 trillion naira. Uh, Senator Lawan, in his opening remarks, said the continuous external borrowing was a cause for concern and advised the federal government to seek other sources of funding uh, the budget. He said, Mr. President, the need to enhance uh, revenue generation and uh, collection cannot be overemphasized. Uh, the level of the budget deficit is high. And both the legislature and the executive should work to reduce this uh, deficit through the availability of more revenues. <laughs> I must commend the Senate and House Committees on Finance and the Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning for working together to improve the level of revenues for the government. Mr. President, we understand that due to paucity of revenue, the federal government has to resort to raising funds from foreign and domestic sources to provide infrastructure across the country. That is why the National Assembly approved the request for borrowing. The commitment of the federal government in providing infrastructure across the country means that the funds must be raised one way or the other. The government should also explore other sources of funding its projects in order to reduce borrowing. Well, it is within sustainable limits. Uh, President, while uh, presenting the budget, President Buhari claimed that the national debt profile was nothing to worry about, submitting that it was within a sustainable limit. He further argued that he, uh, the loans, both local and external, were being tied to verifiable projects aimed at uh, stimulating economic growth and development. He said, some have expressed concern over our resources for borrowing to finance our fiscal gaps. They are right to be concerned. However, we believe that the debt level of the federal government is still within sustainable uh, limits. Borrowing and to specific strategic projects and can be verified publicly. As you are aware, we have witnessed two economic uh, re uh, recessions within the period of uh, this administration. In both cases, we had to spend our way out of recession, which necessitated a resort to growing the public debt. It is unlikely that our recovery from each of the two uh, recessions would have grown as fast without a sustained government expenditure funded by debt. Our target over the medium term is to grow our revenue to GDP ratio from about 8% uh, currently to 15% by 2025. At that level of revenues, uh, the debt uh, service to revenue ratio will uh, cease to be worried. Well, put simply, we do not have a debt and sustainability pro problem, but a revenue challenge that we are determined to tackle uh, to ensure our debts uh, remain sustainable. Uh, very importantly, we have endeavored to use the loans to finance critical development projects and programs uh, aimed at improving our economic environment and ensuring effective delivery of public services to our people. We focus on the completion of major road and rail projects the effective implementation of power sector projects, the provision of portable water, construction of irrigation infrastructure and dams across the country, and critical health projects such as the strengthening of national emergency medical services and the ambulance system, a procurement of a vaccines, polio eradication and a upgrading primary health care centers across the six geopolitical zones. Senators who spoke after President Buhari 
presentation equally highlight the fears of the Nigerians. Uh, Senator representing Lagos West and Chairman Senate uh, Committee on Finance, Olamile Adiola, said he was not bothered about the rising debt profile. He said the budget is tagged budget of sustainability. He believes it is a budget of hope. Uh, we hope uh, it will take us out of misery uh, given critical attention to education and uh, security. Mr. President has given assurance that uh, the deficit will be financed by borrowing. Uh, he said uh, we have nothing to fear. <laughs> well, uh, the borrowed funds are tied to specific ver verifiable projects. We are convinced it will take care of our needs. I am not bothered about the debt profile. He has given us an outline of how he is going to finance the loans. With time, the direction the budget will take will be unveiled. Senator representing the Kitty Center, Michael of Bayami Bamidele, also justified the borrowing and expressed the hope that both the parliament and the ordinary Nigerians will be vigilant to ensure that borrowed funds were judiciously utilized. The budget estimate as laid goes to show uh, consciousness on the part of the leadership that this is not yet huru. <laughs> we must spend our way out of recession. The recurrent uh, expenditure is taking more money, of course. I can see that government must have a human face, but capital spending will help to develop our infrastructures by and large. What is important is implementation by ensuring that the mo uh, ministries, uh, departments, and agencies are able to implement uh, diligently and we don't fail in our oversight to monitor the spending and for Nigerians at large to monitor in their various constituency. Uh, we must all ensure that every Naira borrowed are spent on capital projects that will uh, percolate uh, to the uh, ordinary uh, Nigerians and uh, take us out uh, of recession. Senator Ubasani, who is uh, chairman of the Senate Committee on Banking and Finance, equally expressed uh, confidence that the target of President Buhari was to develop critical social infrastructures. Mr. President has talked about infrastructure development and education for me. These are key to a country growth and development. For us as National Assembly, we need to increase the level of oversight to ensure that key revenue generating agencies add value uh, to the Federation account. Yes, they are, they are talking about borrowing and the Federation account. Well, well, in spite of uh, the huge investment in the water sector by the government and uh, international organization, water scarcity has grown to become a, a perennial nightmare for residents. Well, if uh, need be, definitely uh, they are talking about a debt deficit, uh, a modular one, and uh, Buhari are not all on the same page when it comes to borrowing and you know borrowing for infrastructure and where are the infrastructural projects that they have you know mentioned they have been talking about borrowing a uh, deficit uh, borrowing for infrastructure yes well if you like approve more loan for bubu foolishness at the highest order it is coming from comments from people all the money recovered from looter we see on papers is enough to finance nigeria budget but we have nowhere to find those money well, this is a stupid senator. All agreed with the very high debt profile of our country that run to more than 23 trillions. I believe they have collected their shares. Yes, Lawan and Buhari disagree over Nigeria's debt profile. That is impossible. <laughs> Just impossible. Well, I would like you to venture into the comment section and share your take. Thanks for listening and God bless you.